so today I'm going out into the field to start my new project finally. Um, so I just started a new job and basically the project is part of a bigger oyster reef restoration project here in Hong Kong. Um, specifically what I'm doing, uh, firstly I'm going to be mapping the remnant oyster reefs in Hong Kong and the associated biodiversity. So I'm going to take you out with me today whilst we test out the new drone which we're going to use for oyster mapping and I will explain a little bit what associated biodiversity means and the whole point of the whole project. Um, yep, yeah, so let's go! was a success so we're gonna go out again today to a different site to essentially do the same thing we're gonna be doing this all over Hong Kong to compare all the different sites we have to go out super early this morning because low tide is really early low tide being when the sea is out the furthest so so when most of the shore is exposed and I am now gonna go and get wrapped up because it's bloody crazy <laughs> And so that is pretty much what is involved in the sort of field side of this project for the drone mapping. So essentially we set the drone going on a particular map which we have uh, pre-designed and then we get a bunch of images from that so we'll come back and 
upload the images to uh, different software, get tons and tons of images, we're gonna stitch them together and then identify little oyster patches in the images and we're gonna be using some pretty cool computer learning algorithms to train it to recognize the oyster waves. Now this is all very new to me so I'm pretty excited to be learning this new stuff and I'll show you exactly how we do that in another video but for this video that's pretty much it. Um, I hope that was interesting. I found it really really nice to go out even super early in the morning just to see some of the Hong Kong beaches when there's nobody on them just as the sun's rising it's super super nice Hong Kong does have some really amazing sites so it's super super nice if you have any questions on using drones for this kind of science please let me know I hope this was uh, remotely interesting for you and I'll see you in the next video